Welcome to Autodesk Inventor Professional. On the left side of your screen, you'll see three dots, and that's your settings. That's how you're going to access settings that'll change generic software-wide things. To the right of that, you're going to see recent files, if you have any. For now, you probably won't see anything if this is the first time you're opening the software. At the bottom of the screen, you can see some links to Autodesk web-based resources including help, tutorials, community, updates, and more. And on the left side of the screen, you're going to see either open an old project or new to start a new project. There are two ways you can start a new project. The first is by clicking the little drop-down arrow, which will open a drop-down menu. And the second is by clicking New. The first thing you're ever going to want to do in Inventor is create a 3D part, a 2D or 3D part. That's going to be our standard IPT part file. Once you start a new project, you'll come to the modeling space. The largest bar on the top with all of the different options you have for creating different parts, that's your ribbon. To the left of the screen, you'll see your browser where you can see any models, um, sketches. Once you start creating 3D parts, you'll see them there. Um, if you were working in an assembly, all those parts you contribute would be in there as well. So this is like your, your navigation to get through all the different things you're working on and all the different things active in your modeling space. And then at the very top of the screen, you're going to see the quick access toolbar. So that's going to be things like opening, saving, undo, your basic functions that you're going to need. When it comes to navigating around this space, at the very far right of your screen, you'll see the navigation bar, which will have different options to help you navigate your screen. Above that is the navigation cube, which can help you rotate your, your 3D object and take different perspectives on it. And at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see an axis, which will help you orient which direction you're facing relative to your, your object. The navigation cube also has labels on it that will help you orient. When it comes to your navigation bar, the topmost option will open a navigation wheel that has options like orbit, zoom, pan, and rewind. Pan, Orbit, and Zoom are all also available underneath the wheel at quicker click options. So that hand will allow you to pan, that magnifying glass will allow you to zoom, and underneath that will allow you to orbit. Zoom and Orbit have drop-down menus that allow you to come up with more specific ways of zooming or of orbiting or where you want to zoom to. The last thing we'll mention here is the File tab up top. The file tab will allow you to do some of the functions in the quick access toolbar, as well as some additional options, some more elaborate ones. You can do things like start a new part or project, open an existing file, save, export, share, change properties, and more. You can also go to options to change some of the settings in your software. Thank you everyone, and please let me know if you have any questions.